residential sales comparison and income approach location adjustments page 31 check your understanding this quiz has a total of three questions there will be one question per page you must achieve 66 percent to pass this quiz start quiz number one for residential properties location on a blank it's a noun is generally the most preferable a feeder street b cul-de-sac c arterial corridor or d interstate highway i'm gonna go cul-de-sac b Number two, whenever possible, your comparable should be in A, a different market area than your subject. B, the same market area as your subject. C, a different subdivision or development than your subject. Or D, location of comparables does not matter. I'm going to go B, the same market area as your subject. And number three, site factors might include all of the following except A, traffic, B, topography, C, access, or D, construction quality. Construction quality. Assessment completed. Finish. You passed. You got 100%. So remember, for residential properties, location on a blank is generally the most preferable. You said cul-de-sac, and that is correct. Number two, whenever possible, your comparable should be in you said the same market area as your subject, and that is correct. Number three, site factors might include all the following except you said construction quality, and that is correct. Continue. Residential sales comparison and income approaches. Help. Documents. Email instructor. Location adjustments. PG 32 summary. Notes. Leave a comment. Summary. This chapter was devoted to location adjustments. This is the sixth element of comparison when making adjustments in the seven step sequence for residential properties. We reviewed the definitions of neighborhood, district, and market area. There was an extensive discussion of various kinds of factors that may influence values in market areas. Market area boundaries were described and a procedure suggested for determining these boundaries. Nine different categories of site factors that may be present in a market area were presented. Finally, the process of entering a location adjustment on the URAR was illustrated. Next will be another chapter ending quiz. Click here if you would like to open this chapter as a PDF, which you can then print or save to your device. Chapter 7. End of page. Chapter start. 45%. Residential sales comparison and income approaches, chapter 7, location adjustments, page 33, chapter 7, ending quiz. This quiz has a total of nine questions. There will be one question per page. You must achieve 80% to start this. To pass this quiz, start quiz. Number one, whenever possible, your comparable should be in A, a different market area than your subject. B, the same market area as your subject. C, a different subdivision or 
development than your subject or D, location of comparables does not matter. I'm going to go B, the same market area as your subject. Number two, a market area is usually A, a block or two, B, a subdivision or development, C, an entire town or city, or D, no set size. It's either B or D. Market area. I'm leaning towards a subdivision or development, but I could be wrong on that one. Number three. Senior developments or historic areas could be examples of A, neighborhoods, B, easements, C, sub-districts, or D, market areas. neighborhoods it's either a or d i feel like number four which term concentrates more on where people live and work a neighborhood b district c market area or d they all have the exact same meaning uh, i'm gonna go I'm going to go B, District. Number five, which would not normally be considered to be a site factor? A, interest rates. B, exposure. D, or C, utilities. And D, soil conditions. really sure what exposure is doing on this exposure is like homes being on the market for a while or whatever and interest rates are like not really a sight factor but it feels like interest rates would be more of a sight factor than exposure it feels like that's a hard one exposure i'm gonna go exposure i'm not sure on that one Number six, which would not be considered market area factors? A, encroachments. B, climate. C, density. Or D, access to shopping. Climate. Number seven, a group of 
complementary land uses of congruous grouping of inhabitants, buildings, or business enterprises is the definition of A, neighborhood, B, market area, C, district, or D, market area, marketing area. I'm going to go A, neighborhood. Number eight, a, a district is an area characterized by blank land uses. A, inconsistent. B, widely varied. C, incongruous. Or D, homogeneous. I'm going to go D, homogeneous. And lastly, number nine, the four categories of external market factors are A, social, economic, utilitarian, and governmental. B, economic, environmental, physical, and social. C, social, economic, governmental, and environmental. Or D, governmental, social, economic, and political. Uh, use the acronym PEGS, I believe. Physical. Economic. I think, PEGS. Governmental. And social. I think that's what it was. and social physical economic governmental and social it's not d it can't be p e g s but yeah no actually it does have p e g s but it's political that's not the it's the p is supposed to be for physical not political Physical, economic, social, governmental. <sighs> There's like no right answer on this, man. This is a stupid fucking question because there's no right answer that I know of. Physical, economic, governmental, and social. Physical. Governmental, economic, and social. Utilitarian. What the hell does that even mean? So remember, number one, whenever possible, your comparable should be in, you said, B, the same market area as your subject, and that is correct. Number two, a market area is usually, you said, a subdivision or development, and that is incorrect. The correct answer is no set size, your next, answer, your next thing. I knew that one was a hard one. A market area has no set size and can be large or small depending on the type of property. I thought I couldn't get a good answer on that one. Number three, 
senior developments or historic areas could be examples of you said neighborhoods that's incorrect the correct answer was sub districts those are called sub districts they are segment a segment of another district hmm. Number four, which term concentrates more on where people live and work? You said district. That's wrong. The correct answer was market area. Market area concentrates more on where people live and work. Number five, which would not normally be considered a site factor? You said exposure. That was wrong. It was interest rates. My next choice. Interest rates are an economic factor, not a physical site factor. Considered a site factor. Hmm. Okay. Number six, which would not be considered market area factors? You said climate. That's wrong. The, the correct answer was encroachments. Wow. Encroachments are physical factors, not market area factors. Ah. Number seven, a group of complementary land uses, co congruous grouping of inhabitants, buildings, or business enterprises is the definition of. You said neighborhood. That's correct. Number eight, a district is an area characterized by blank land use. You said homogeneous, and that is correct. Oh, my God. And number nine, the four categories of external market factors are, you said, C, social economic, governmental, and environmental, and that is actually correct. So pegs for P, physical, it's, I think they got this wrong or something, man. Because physical is supposed to be one of them. External market factors. There's no physical on this. Physical, there's an economic, there's a governmental, and then there's a social. So those three are actually on it. So environmental is... Instead of physical, they have on this. So it's, I guess, E, G, E, S. So instead of pegs, it's like, we'll say eggs with two E's. Environmental, economic, governmental, and social.